For us, what I'd rather be than listen to radio or on the computer than to 90.7 of Music FM. Well, I made it the well today as the Buffalo Bills improve their record to 2 and 0, and of course, it makes them 1 and 0 under the ownership of Terry Pagula. Well, Pagula's not the official owner yet, but he pretty much confirmed that he is he won the bid. He is going to be the owner of the Buffalo Bills. And they said they beat, today they beat the Miami Dolphins by a score of 29-10, and then last week they beat the Chicago Bears twice in 20 overtime. For the third time in this decade-long playoff drought, they have a 2-0 and record. But will they hold on to it, or will they shove it away like they did the last three times? Well, um, before I get into talking about the bill, I'll, I'll, I'll say something. I'll, I was doing like a little silo cast as I was as I was playing the music. I called in the WGR 550s, Del Capaccio, and I told him what I saw. We real quick saw the game, and that's on CJ Spiller. I said that CJ Spiller was a bit disappointing in the first half, but in the second half, ever since he got the kickoff return for a touchdown, he was on fire. He had a, he had a great game. The defense, holy cow, what a great game. They shut down Ryan Tannehill and the Miami Dolphins offense. This is probably the best defense we've had in ages. And honestly, this might this might be the best team we've had fielded in a long time. <laughs> However, there is problems. They, I, for number one, I am still not sold on quarterback E.J. Manuel. If we had a good or a decent quarterback, this game would have been completely one-sided. And um, three, the first three possessions by the field goals, it was 9 nothing when it should have been 21 nothing. The Bills just need to learn to finish. Other problems was C.J. Spiller was absent in the first half, but he got together in the second half. Sammy Watkins, well, that's, that's really all the bad things to say. Good thing, Sammy Watkins was great. I think he could be a star. Defense was great. So, the question is, is this the year? After 14 years of misery, will the Bills return the playoffs? I'm not quite sure they'll be that good, but I am still leaning towards 8-8. Eight and eight. So, that's all that matters now. If they have a 2-0 record, as of right now, the Green Bay Packers lead the New York Jets 31-24. to So if that result holds up, the Buffalo Bills will have sole possession of first place in the AFC East. Wow. What a great, what a great year this has been for the Bills so far. 2-0, Pagula's ownership, and hopefully they keep it up. And anyhow, um, they face the San Diego Chargers next week, which just uh, who just defeated the defending Super Bowl champion Seattle Seahawks 30 to 21. Ooh, that's gonna be a tough test. The team that beat the champion after seeing Seattle dominate Green Bay last week, I thought, ooh, they got an easy Super Bowl, not an easy Super Bowl victory, but it's gonna be a tough test. Because the the running backs, uh, the star running back, um, Matthew, I think Matthews is going to be out. I'll get more information on that, but um, I get more information on my other show. But San Diego will be missing their star running back, and yet that's the most important. Is they hope to improve the three and zero for the first time since 2011. Anyhow, let's get back into the music. Since we just since we just squished a fish, I got a special song to play for you folks. It's called Fish Heads by Barnes and Barnes. Kind of a funny song, but it's kind of fitting for being the Miami Dolphins. So keep it up to 90.7 in the music I found. Uh, uh, we'll find a link. Come on.